I've been photographing and filming in the Cairngorms for over 20 years. These hills, forests and rivers are the backdrop to my life and the wildlife that lives here. Red squirrels, ospreys, capercaillie, pine martins. These are my neighbours. I'm standing high above Glenfeshi in the southern Cairngorms. This is a glen, like all Scottish glens, with a history. Until recently, that history was defined largely by what could be hunted here. But today, Glenfeshi is changing. The bare floors of the glen, created and maintained by high levels of grazing deer, are no longer bare. The lonely ancient pines that might have stood for 500 years now have neighbours, sprightly youngsters free to grow, relieved of the pressure of hungry mouths. This is a glen reawakening. To the north of Glenfeshi lies Invereshi, a forest of Scots pine, birch, rowan and alder. Beyond is Glenmore Forest and then Abernethy, one of Scotland's largest remaining fragments of the ancient pine wood that once stretched almost from summit to sea. The young pines, birches and willows in Glenfeshi are slowly reaching out to these neighbouring forests and recognising the potential for restoring this landscape on an unprecedented scale. A partnership of land managers have jointly committed to a bold and ambitious 200-year vision to enhance habitats, species and natural processes across a vast area of the Cairngorms National Park. This is Cairngorms Connect stretching over 600 square kilometres from the floodplain of the River Spey through ancient forests to some of the highest mountains in Britain. This is a place where eagles soar, wildcats prowl and red squirrels forage. But it is also a place where nature has been unravelling for some time, a place in need of restoration. The Cairngorms Connect partners are committed to a more joined up, more natural landscape rich in life. Nature doesn't recognise fences or lines drawn on a map. For wildlife, the important boundaries are where opportunities improve or diminish, where survival gets easier or more difficult. The strength of Cairngorms Connect is in creating a seamless landscape for nature. This wild landscape in the making will provide a future for some of Britain's most spectacular and rare wildlife, but it will also provide opportunities for people. As the forest expands and diversifies, it will clean the air and help regulate the climate. As peatlands are restored, they will purify water and store huge amounts of carbon. Soil quality will improve and the flow of rain and snow melt into naturally meandering river systems will slow and reduce downstream flood risk. For those who live here, for those who visit from afar, for those who come to study and learn and even begin their careers, for those who come to have fun, get active or to find tranquility, Cairngorms Connect will become a place that offers many different memorable experiences. For me, this change is as exciting as any I've seen across the whole of Britain. For too long, conservation has been about trying to save nature piece by piece. A rare bird here, a threatened bit of habitat there. Cairngorms Connect is bold and holistic. In the coming years, I hope that it will set down a marker, not just to conserve the fragments and threads that we desperately hold on to in this country, but the whole. The prize is a landscape rich in life. All life.